हेलो व्यूअर्स वेलकम टू आवर चैनल प्लानिंग पी सिक्स होप यू आर डूइंग वेल टुडे आई एम हेयर विद द टॉपिक ऑफ हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट मैनेज फ्रेश होल्ड ड्यूरिंग द एग्जीक्यूशन पीरियड ऑफ आवर प्रोजेक्ट प्रेमा वीरो पी सिक्स अलाउज यूजर्स टू ट्रैक देयर प्रोजेक्ट मैटर्स विद द टूल्स एबिलिटी टू रिकग्नाइज अ स्टोर प्रोजेक्ट thresholds thresholds provide a means to define parameters required to filter out the specific and key information in the project schedule and they also provide a mean to compare historical data in the project schedule to future execution projects this tutorial will cover how to use and work with primavera p6 threshold during the project Execution. Just open your Prima Vera P6 schedule where you want to apply thresholds and go to the project. I covered all the view options which are remaining. I did, and now I think view is completed. And now we move forward to the project. In project, you know. I already shared activities, resource assignment, WPS assign, maintain baseline, expenses, and WPS and documents. Now it's time to think about thresholds. Here is a thresholds option. You can see here. You can manage your thresholds from here. Click here. There is a new window open with the project thresholds. Now. in the bottom layer you can see general and detail to and also you can customize your columns as well here from here customize you can customize from here like that if you need to customize any of them where we want to to add we will add click on insert button or click on add here add start date variance parameters which parameters parameters are here you can look into that parameter window start date variance days finish date variance days total float days free float days duration percent plant date percentage cost of plant percentage accounting variance cost variance schedule variance variance of completion cost performance index cost variance index schedule performance index and schedule variance index ratio where whatever you need required you can add here total float if i say the parameter i need the total float wbs which one status you can enable or disable your threshold from here enabled and priority you can say the priority what is the priority there are the five priorities top high normal low and lowest if i say the top priority now in the bottom layout you can see here total float days now we have to set a parameter here lower threshold i want to say 2 days and then in the upper threshold i say the 5 days then wbs monitor you can see here the wbs detail of monitor wbs are activity you can see activity as well and wbs as well status enabled responsible manager who is the re responsible manager you can put from here whichever for man whatever you can put from here you can say the project engineer or planning engineer as well tracking layout you can set the tracking layout from here you can see here biting top down bottom estimation labor cost and value cars project cost project gain profile resource allocation resource allocation by project resource allocation spreadsheet if i say the from the gain chart or whatever your requirement you can put here edit priority is here as well and in the details window you can see here monitor the time window from the start of the project project earliest start to date whatever you want you can custom from custom date 
and you can see for the current month for the latest project finish date as well and this is for the monitoring purpose also i have you can add more then you can assign the thresholds to each activity to wbs as well and now our as our the threshold is has been assigned to one of our activity at wbs how we can monitor that one go to the tools and in the tools tab you can see here the monitor thresholds here original use the original threshold monitor window monitor it it's monitoring now your projects it is working on the your project schedule and we will see the results what appear on issue generation complete 224 issues were identified okay now you can see here these are the issues are identified you can go or delete your issues you can resolve and disable the issues from here if i say here go to project issues you can see here activity name activity id priority status wbs and issue total float days in 223 what we set the criteria was 2 to 5 days and now the above dates are days in negative or in positive it will be tracked as a issue so now it's time to generate the report go to the tool and go to the report wizard in the report wizard you can see here use the print screen next here you can see threshold parameters and threshold i want to print that thresholds and parameters you can print it next issues notification history all things you can manage from here you can manage your columns as i told in my too many tutorials you can see the how you can generate the report next i want to give the name of thresholds run report here if you want to see the print preview you can see in excel as well you can print as a pdf as well i want to see the print preview preview you can see here what is the uh, our we have added only one threshold the threshold parameter total float days wbs status and priority this is how we can manage or add our thresholds to the project in primavera p6 while the project we want to see the project is execution is in progress and we want to see where is the issues and all things so from next lecture we will discuss about the issues and then risk how we will manage or add issues separately and risk as separately hopefully this tutorial is very helpful for you people how you can add the project thresholds in primavera p6 how you can monitor how you can generate a report and how you can monitor from the tools please like share comment and subscribe our channel thanks for watching allah hafiz